Good morning and welcome in everybody. Before we get into this morning's update, let's talk about a few things that are circulating through the XRP and crypto communities. We've got XRP up 1.27%, sitting at 60.58 cents. We came up and tapped, as expected the last about week here, we came up and tapped, well close to, we didn't, we didn't quite hit it, but we came up close. We came up to that 61.1, well 61.5, didn't quite get all the way up to 61.8, which is the rising channel resistance. So that's what we're working on right now. We're trying to work on that, uh, gaining enough support to get up into that region. We've had this cup and handle that we're working on right now, short-term cup, and that should bring us up to about 62.48. We have a technical target at 62.07 on this push-up, and we came very, very close to that technical move. So I'm going to delete this as we did play back up here within a half a cent. So I'm not gonna kill it if it doesn't go up any higher, but I still have a lot of optimism here. The fact that we are still over the 2018 resistance so confluently right now, seems to me that we flipped this from resistance to support after six and a half years, but that's until we haven't. So because it's been such a long history of being below, we are above it right now, but we need to get some confluency here. We need to make sure we start bouncing up and eventually push up near that 68 and a half cent level. And then we can start um, thinking about higher pushes up here. Because right now it's nothing short of spectacular if we can keep pushing up like this. We do have these areas of consolidation, like I say, every morning. It might get a little volatile to the downside, just very just like yesterday. And then we ended up rallying even more, you know. Had a good rally during the day after an initial pullback and uh early trading hours when the usa wakes up we've got the eastern standard time zone like where i live it's 8 37 a.m eastern standard time pacific standard time it's 5 37 a.m usually around 9 9 30 my time and about 6 6 30 pacific standard time is when you get the most volatility so we're within that uh area of um margin of error right now for that to happen but a lot of stuff going on and be very careful when you read fake news. I did not come out with the story yesterday about Gary Gensler. I could have. It was out there. Every single person that I could even imagine was talking about how Gary Gensler, how Kamala Harris was going to hire Gary Gensler as the Treasury Secretary. Well, that's bullshit. That's not even true. And everybody, I mean, when I say everybody ran with this yesterday, I'm not going to point out names, but your favorite influencer, I'm sure, ran with it, even on YouTube, X other social media platforms that's all you could read last night every single person was trying to get free views i always tell you, you got to have uh dignity when you're doing this stuff and you don't want to be the first person to report it if it's not true so there's no shame in waiting until the next morning if you think that there's something fishy so i waited till the next morning and it turns out that it's bs and now gary gensler started the treasury secretary rumor custodial bank ceo says so we'll read into that today because that's interesting we have a multi-breakout stage for XRP, that, and it eyes $1, so we'll read through that. And it's not just the Ripple XRP price surging. These important, met important metrics also soar. So we'll get through some technical analysis, and then we'll get through a lot of reading this morning because there's a lot of details. Not every morning is about reading. Every morning is a little bit different. But this morning is going to have some TA, and then we'll go through the reading. So make sure to hit that like button so YouTube does recommend this update. That little like button... Just by simply hitting that like button, we become recommended. And then that means that I pop up on the YouTube news feed for anybody to watch. So whether you've been to my community before or not, you'll be able to have the choice this morning when you see my content pop up in the news feed. Because my beautiful audience hit that like button, you'll be able to make an educated and informed decision whether or not you would like to watch my content. So please make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you on the other side of the intro. Good morning, 8.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. 
So starting today on Hot Coin, I worked out this promotion. I hinted at it yesterday, but take advantage of this. You can join Hot Coin in the video description below and or pinned comments. You can also copy trade me on Hot Coin, which right now we're currently our $100 challenge. We sit at $293 as we're working our way up to 1,000. So we're up just over 193% right now. So you can do that by clicking on my link, depositing money in the futures, going into copy trade and typing in XRP and you'll find my name and then follow me. There's an instructional video yesterday put out so you can look in my updates to find out how to do the copy trading. But if you do, or you're just, you don't even need to copy trade, but if you're a futures trader, from now today until September 5th, you get a 20% cash back on your net deposit to a futures account up to a $1,200 futures bonus so if you're trading futures take advantage of this please i'm telling you right now don't miss out on this it's from hot coin it's a promotion only for our community um so if you deposit 100 and you trade one time in the futures you get 20 bucks it's a 20 percent cash back event for our audience 500 deposit and you futures trade twenty thousand dollars in usdt you get a hundred dollars a thousand dollars deposit and you trade $50,000 in futures. So if you have $1,000 and you do a 10X trade, that's $10,000. So if you do five trades in a two week period, you would get this. I think it's a two week long you have to fulfill this. It's two weeks long. So the moment you put your, so during that time, so you have from August 20th to September 5th to do this. After September 5th, all this ends. So whatever you futures you've traded would convert and then if you did $5,000 and you do $200,000 in futures trading, that's $1,200. To put it in perspective, on a $5,000 trade, if you do a 10X, that's $50,000. So you only need to do four trades at a 10X on a $5,000 if that's what your plan is. And then you get 20% back. That's $1,200 of free money that comes in a futures trading voucher. And what that means is when you go to futures, the money will look like it's there, but you won't be able to take it out of the futures account. Now, let's say you get $500 and you make a $200 positive trade. It's gonna show $700 in your futures account then. Well, you'd be able to take out 200 out of that 700 and 500 would stay, but now you've already gotten 200 out of your 500 and then um, you'd be able to lose 200 as well. So then it could go down to 300, you know, so that's how you would open it up. You have to unlock it each step of the way. So you'd have to be a good trader, even if you get the futures bonus. It's not like you're going to get the futures bonus and just transfer it into your bank account. That's not how it works. You got to play it through. So if you, I would advise you to take advantage of that on Hotcoin. That's in the video description below and pinned comments. And the beauty of that is there's no VPN or KYC necessary, not even for this event. So, but if you send from a bank account, you're going to have to do a KYC for obvious reasons. Also in the video description below under pinned comments is BitUnix. They're my A1 as well as Hotcoin. So either or, except that promotion is going on in Hotcoin. So I would definitely want you to take advantage of that. Let's say you're a futures trader and you've got $10,000 you futures trade with. Take it off of the exchange you're on, send it over to Hotcoin, fulfill that um, trading volume and take advantage of 1200 bucks. It's just, I would, I would take advantage of it. So XRP, Right now is up 0.85% to that 60.44 cent mark. I mean, in all actuality, we've done exactly what we need to do here. We came up past the 2018 resistance. We showed beautiful support on it finally after six and a half years of being rejected. We created a nice pattern formation that we went resistance support, resistance support. We even consolidated much below the support structure and retested that 2000... Um, 20 uptrending support which was very important and even though we didn't come all the way down it was still important that this held and we came down consolidated pushed back up and around now our technical target is to try to get up to that 68.5 cent mark and that's not going to be easy because in between we've got the rising channel resistance at 61.8 cents we've got the cup and handle resistance in current times at right around 63 cents, 62.9 cents. And once we get above those areas, it does ignite a technical target, a big technical target. If we get above the cup and handle resistance, the technical target out of a successful break above the cup and handle gets us to $1.18. 
And we do have a massive resistance if we start breaking bullish because we have to get above the rising channel resistance at 85.89 cents. And then the technical target, if we break out of this cup and we get above 94 cents, gets you up to $1.37. Oh, and it continues to get better from there. It continues to get better from there because if you break above and hold the $1.37 consolidation, then it sends us up to a $1.97, $1.98, 2021 revisit of that resistance. The technical break up from the 2020 uptrending support of the 2018 formation setup, the technical target here is $2.40 on a successful breakup. And that's if it happens by sometime around Halloween is where we targeted between now and, well, when I did it all the way up until Halloween for the official breakout of the 2018 resistance. Right now, we're officially breaking out at the end of August. So is this going to be a final resistance? There was resistance five or four, you could call it, in August. And now support one off of a newly formed support structure started August 24. That would be great. Daily time frame looks absolutely fantastic today. It's an engulfing candle to the top side. We made a new high, higher high. Our low is a higher low as well if we close today. Higher high and higher lows are fantastic. Um, 60.94 cents is where we had to break to make a new high, which we did. We came all the way up to about 61.5 cents last night. And now we're consolidating. Our nearest uh, consolidation is the 60 cent psychological level. But then furthermore, underneath that, we do have a few layers of support. We have this 58.8 cents, which... We were able to come down to yesterday and we were not, uh, we did not give it up. We came up initially to about, what was this? 60.9 cents, consolidated down to 59.39. So this is our new area of support. And it's perfect because it's the top side of what looks like a small cup that was formed. So right now, as long so our area right now, it's been modified. 59.3 cents if that breach is likely 58.4 cents in my opinion i know 58.8 was there but that was just an old level of pivot now our new pivot layer is 59.3 i think that's a beautiful spot so all right i've been talking a lot bitcoin's up 1291 points or dollars it's uh 60,730 up 2.17 percent and we've talked about bitcoin was bullish as long as it was over 57,579 we had the feeling that in time it was going to come back up here and retest the pattern resistance around 70k we still know that there's over six billion dollars in short liquidations if bitcoin just hit 73k so i still don't put it past the market to push past 70k here and uh, start pushing to higher levels but we'll continue to monitor extra or bitcoin looks like a nice bull flag was formed this morning as well so I look for some onward and upward momentum here, but we'll, we'll continue monitoring that. Make sure you come in tonight at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so you can stay up to date with all the new technicals. We'll go over the indicators. We'll go over all that good stuff tonight. Um, and we'll get through this reading and then I'll let this out to the general public. And remember, that rumor was false about Gary Gensler. So if you're waiting up this morning saying, God, that Kamala Harris and she's gonna sign Treasury Secretary Gensler to that role, it was all a rumor. So custodial bank CEO believes, or custodial bank CEO Caitlin Long believes SEC Kerry Gensler was himself the source of the recent Treasury Secretary appointment rumors. Rumors swirling about SEC Chair Gary Gensler potentially becoming Treasury Secretary if Kamala Harris wins the 2024 presidential election have stirred significant debate within the crypto industry. However, custodial bank CEO Caitlin Long debunked these claims. Moreover, she believes that Gensler himself is the source of these rumors the speculation originated from a washington reporter scoop by matthew foldy how gary gensler as a treasury secretary rumor started in the reported foldy reiterated the paradigm clo katie bieber had floated the notion of a gensler plan this plan would allegedly ensure a dem commission majority in 2025 forcing a newly elected president trump to oust him it would position Gary Gensler to become an SEC commissioner once more. Moreover, it would enable President Biden to appoint a successor such as Carolyn Crenshaw, known for her critical stance on the crypto industry. Hence, the SEC's anti-crypto crusade would continue even if Gensler steps down. 
The Gensler plan has generated a mix of intrigue and skepticism among industry figures and political commentators. The cause of the latest rumors is a Capitol Hill source familiar with SEC matters. As cited by Foldy, the source suggested that Gensler might agree to such a scenario if he were promised a role as Treasury Secretary by Kamala Harris if she wins. These speculations didn't sit well with the crypto industry that called for Harris to fire Gensler. Furthermore, custodial banks long took to X and challenged the credibility of this rumor. She stated, multiple Dems contacted me to say that Gary as the Treasury Secretary rumor is false. According to Long, a Democrat believes that Gensler himself is behind the rumor, either to create confusion or to manipulate perceptions. This assertion is supported by Sheila Warren, CEO of Crypto Council, who echoed Long's sentiments. Warren wrote on X, I've heard this false is false from multiple Republicans as well. This bipartisan dismissal suggests that the rumor may lack substan substantive backing. Republican Tom Emmer had previously cautioned that Kamala Harris might choose Gensler as or Senator Elizabeth Warren, for, even that's even worse, Senator Warren's the, the biggest loser on, I'm not gonna go into that, as or Senator Elizabeth Warren for the Treasury Secretary position. Emmer criticized Gensler's tenure in, at the SEC stating, He's been bringing lawsuits all over the place and losing all over the place. That time's passed. Gary Gensler needs to move on. His career in government should be over. Bloomberg senior ETF analyst Eric Balkunis, or Balkunis spotlighted Emmer's stance in a post on X. More of Balkunis suggested it kind of sounds like he's the source of the rumor. This statement aligns with custodial bank CEO's statement solidifying the possibility of Gary Gensler starting the rumor himself. <laughs> more of a Ripple CTO, David Schwartz, took a more sarcastic tone in response to the rumors on X. He wrote, Good news, everyone. Sources say if Harris is elected, she will remove Gensler as chair of the SEC before his term is up. Ripple re reached the end of the legal tussle with the SEC with the former receiving a $125 million penalty. Although that's not finished yet because the SEC had 60 days to appeal, and Ripple had 30 days to pay the fine, which is down to about 20, low 20 days now. Charles Hawkinson, founder of Cardano, weighed in with a critical perspective. He noted, as I have repeatedly stated, Team Blue is not crypto friendly, crypto's friend. Hawkinson's remarks reflect broader skepticism within the crypto industry about the Democratic Party's alignment with crypto interests. Similarly, pro XRP lawyer Bill Morgan condemned the idea calling these, those who support Harris as a crypto ally useful idiots, he warned. Imagine the damage he will do to crypto as Treasury Secretary. We, where are the Democrats for crypto crowd? Are they still having meetings with senior people from the administration and being listened to? So that's very interesting. So I wanted to read that. And then um, I want to read the metrics. And I'll save the multi-breakout stage for XRP at $1 until tonight's live at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I want to read this though. Is it, it's not just that Ripple XRP price surging. These important metrics also soar. So important trading metrics from the XRP price are charting impressive increases, hitting at a more sustainable new move. Ripple's price has increased by more than 4.5% in the past 24 hours, pushing its weekly gains above 6%. While the cryptocurrency's valuation is seeing a notable uptick, other important metrics are also moving forward. The entire cryptocurrency market has gone through a notable uptick in the past 24 hours with Bitcoin attempting to push above 61K. This has also strengthened the XRP price outlook, providing a considerable increase of more than 4.5% as of time of writing. The altcoin is trading above 60 cents, which is right around 60.3 cents. To give the move more substance and perhaps at least to a larger rally in the short term, XRP's daily trading volume soared by more than 60%. So volume was up 63% to 2.27 billion. Open interest was up 13% to 712.65 million. Options volume was up 149%. Open interest was up 86.9%. Very interesting there. Very interesting here. This is a nice chart. I actually like that a lot. Beautiful. Let's take a, there we go. Um, we've got... The open interest, which sums up the total number of open positions on XRP trading contracts, is also up by 13%. This is usually a precursor to volatility. Interestingly enough, XRP options volume also soared by a whopping 150%, while the options open interest is up by almost 90%.
So, I mean, that's very interesting. That's all I wanted to share here. Make sure to hit that like button before you leave so YouTube recommends this. Subscribe to the channel and join. And consider joining Tom's Army, getting that emoji badge of me being abducted by aliens in month one. You can send a YouTube super chat as a way to pay it forward. Or go on Cash App and send a Cash App donation to Tom Jr. 222 if you want to pay it forward. In the comments if you made it till the end. Hashtag be better, do better in the comments.